Hello wonderful people of YouTube this is Melbourne Yatri here welcome to another episode of new home construction series in this video i would be sharing my understanding of a retaining wall and how a timber retaining wall has been built on my particular block in our uh, site layout we are actually having two types of retaining walls one is a double brick retaining wall and one is a timber retaining wall so what I'm going to show you next is the internals of a timber retaining wall because the double brick retaining wall has not been built yet. Once the double brick retaining wall has been built, I'll be posting another video about it. The timber retaining walls were built starting off by taking holes into the ground, placing galvanized steel posts and then filling up the holes with concrete so the galvanized steel posts are actually there in its place and these galvanized posts were left off for a week after the concrete was poured. The front retaining wall as you can see has two of the galvanized posts and is having the timber slats across and it's having this rock type of material filled in it and then you have a pipe below it. That pipe is called agri drain pipe. Now this pipe is actually having porous holes all around it and that's actually used to get the water seep in across through that rock and fall into the pipe and this pipe actually empties into a stormwater drain. The agri drain pipe is actually covered with the sleeve that's what we see here and this sleeve is actually there to go ahead and protect that the fine silt or sand does not seep into the agri drain pipe because this sand will then wash into your stormwater drains and choke up your stormwater drains. So this is the south side timber retaining wall and this wall is pretty long and what you can see here is that black sheet now that's called a membrane sheet. The membrane sheet is used to ensure that the water does not directly touch the timber and thereby prolonging the life of the timber retaining wall. The retaining wall is always built on the periphery of the land that you are trying to retain or the soil that you are trying to retain. In this case, you are trying to retain the fill in the site and hence the retaining wall is facing towards the fence. In the earlier case, we were actually retaining this soil which was there towards the fence, hence the retaining wall was facing towards us. Remember, retaining wall always faces to the opposite side of the soil or land it's trying to retain. So the back side of the retaining wall is where you're going to find the membrane, the rock as well as the agri drain. Now this rock is a very porous rock and it's actually filled up with the regular sand on top of it or packing sand and this rock actually allows the water that is going on the surface when it seeps through in, it allows the water to you know to permeable or to seep through it or pass through it and go and reach the agri drain and the agri drain actually collects all this water. The sleeve on the agri drain ensures that there is no sand or silt, fine silt dropping into the agri drain and the collected water is drained off into your stormwater drain. This is what is inside a retaining wall. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe and press the bell icon. We will be releasing new episodes every week. If you have a specific request to get any much more details of a, a particular subject, please do drop down in the comments.